What's happening, man? It's your boy Pump Duck. Look, like, comment, subscribe if you're on YouTube. You feel me? And shouts out to everybody on all the other platforms, too. Um, Make sure you hit that like button on YouTube, because when you hit that like button, they show these videos to way more people. And if you look below, you'll see our merch store. Everything you get off our merch store does goes back into the channel. So listen, we need all the help we can get. We appreciate everybody that have been buying off the merch store. Check this out, a very important video. I was asked a question, right? Um, somebody asked me, why isn't that um, the big celebrities like the Jay-Z's, the Puffy's, and all these other people, um, why don't they come together and we just form our own and we do this and we do that? Good question. Now, Nick Cannon, I'm going to bring up Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, as we know, has become conscious. If you look at his podcast, everything he talk about, bro on a whole nother level, and I salute him for that. As he became who we are today, he started getting a lot of little backlash, right? We knew it was coming. And again, they took his show off TV, right? DC Young Fly, he's a, he's a comedian slash YouTuber, whatever, from um, Atlanta. He was on Wild and Out, the Wild and Out show on Nick Cannon. And when they took the show off the air, they tried to get DC Young Fly to be the host of it. DC Young Fly said no. He stood up like a big dog because he said Nick Cannon gave him a chance, not MTV. And this is what these motherfuckers do. If you look at every artist group, they always go in the group and get the hottest artists and say the hell with everybody else. They couldn't do that with DC Young Fly. And I salute homie for that. This is why a lot of these big wigs don't stick their neck out because a lot of us don't stand up for them. Hey, before I forget, I'm dropping a new song called Bill Gates. Boy, y'all gonna love it, bitch. Make sure y'all share this and add this to your playlist. Back to the video. These, these devils, these big companies, corporations, they're gonna come behind you and try to sabotage your situation. You get what I'm saying? They wanna get you out the way. But when you got stand-up dudes around you, that can't happen. So since, let's say, for instance, a big influencer, entertainer, whatever. I ain't gonna call no names. But just say a big influencer, entertainer, step out there and say, let's do, let's start doing this. I'm gonna start putting my money behind black folk. We finna do this, we finna do that. What we gonna do? Are we gonna support them? Are, are we mature enough to support and stand behind people of bigger stature than ourselves? Or, 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 or are we gonna tear them down? Huh? This is something we have to understand. You can't do shit by yourself, okay? I want y'all to understand and I want y'all to take from this video today. If we do not stand together, it will not happen. So you can cry, you can do this, you can say that. Until we're mature enough to come together to support each other, this shit will never happen, okay? And I keep telling y'all, when it comes to them, they are together. When I mean them, I mean the 1%. All these top head in these countries, they all are together, okay? I keep telling y'all, we do not support each other enough to come together. If we did, we would have way more political power. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to all this shit that y'all trying to change and want to change, we could change it. Because now we stand for something. You have to understand, uh, 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 a Jewish person, will, they won't spend their money with you. And a lot of other ethnic groups. Why? Because they know they're going to empower you. Black folks spend their money with everybody. We don't give a damn. We don't look at it that way. But you have to understand that if we don't stick together as opposed to black folks or as opposed to people in general, ain't shit you could do depending on what it is you're trying to do. Now, when it comes to just ethnic groups, black folks, we need to spend money with each other. We, we, that's the only way we can empower each other. If I had a hotel and you sold toilet paper, by law, I need to buy my toilet paper from you. And when I say law, I don't mean no law, what, what, you know, uh, uh, what the, 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 the government came up with or this. Oh, we need to create our own laws. By law, I need to spend my money with you to empower you and vice versa. When you need to go out and go to a hotel, you need to come spend your money with me. This is what they do. So when it, anytime they do it, it's business. Anytime we do it, it's racism. 
Fuck that. We learned this from them. So we ain't finna play that bullshit. We need to spend our money with each other. This is why a lot of black businesses fail. There's no support. These people will not spend a dime with you. If you in a plaza and you got and you beside a Chinese restaurant, right? You could be in there 10 years. You gonna pop in and out of that Chinese restaurant. You may buy a little food here and there on lunch throughout the 10 years. But I guarantee you they will never step foot in your shop. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Prove me wrong. That's what you do. Prove me wrong. When you ever seen a Chinese woman sitting up in a nail shop and a black person doing their nails? I ain't talking about no one. We talking about by the thousands, like how we do. And not only that, we spend our money with everybody else. So, what I'm telling you is black businesses will never thrive until we start spending money with each other. By law, you have to support a black business. By law, you have to. This is what keeps the money going. If you walked in a room with 100 people, right, and I, was in that, and, I was, and I did a lecture for an hour, and when I walk in that room, I give the first person $100, and I say, pass it around. For that whole hour I'm there, they just passing that money around. This is what happens to our money if we spend it together, keep it together. But the day you get that $100 and you pass it out the door, it's gone to the next group. Now they spending it around. It's bouncing around their community. We don't do that. So when we get our money, we, we, we give it away to everybody else. We don't spend money with each other. So if, say, for instance, if you painted, if you had a paint shop, if you needed any type of work dealing with a paint, we need to come to you to get our shit done. Now, I ain't saying just go to know anybody tacky, but come on, man. We got talent. Shit, we ain't finna do that. Of course, we, we need to better our business skills. But that's all water under the bridge. We ain't got time for that. We will better it as we go, okay? But what I'm telling you is we can't afford to just let that stop us from thriving. A lot of these businesses, like I said, be trying to thrive off $30,000. $40,000 when a lot of these other businesses with good credit coming in with $200,000 overhead and some of them in, are blessed to be in a family to where they got a half a million dollar startup money for a business hell they can go a whole year and don't sell nothing they still straight it's time for us to start using this but we have to stick together and that's why a lot of these big wigs don't do that a lot of these big ass entertainers, they not sticking their neck out there because we don't support them. Look at Bill, look at Bill Cosby. And all, yeah, we gonna say, yeah, oh, he did, he did that. Come the fuck on, man. You talking about people coming back 30 some years later? And we sat there and let that shit go? I keep telling y'all, man, this is the most worstest. This is a good time, to, uh, interesting. I don't say good. This is an interesting time to be living because of all the shit that's going on. But if you look at it, all the black, and if you know, you know, Bill Cosby tried to buy one of the biggest networks. And I, like I said, I think it was CBN. NBC, one of them big, I think it was CBN though. Quote me if I'm wrong, but it was one of those big corporations he tried to buy. And each time he tried to buy, something tragic happened. The first time, his son ended up dying. Aside the road changing the tire. Second time, we all, we all know what happened. And we sat right back and we ain't did nothing. We didn't fight for them. We didn't do nothing. You'll never see that happen with a, another group. Hell, you can't even turn on the TV and see bad things happening to Chinese people. Not even on TV. You'll never... It's, it's, it's Chinese crime. They got poverty. They got the triads and all these other different gangster groups and shit. They got the same shit going on over here, over there. But do they show it? No. So your perception of them is they civilized people. You want to spend your money with them and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not bashing them, but I'm just being real. I'm tired of that shit. We need to spend our money with each other, man. We need to support each other. You see somebody selling something, man, support that shit, man. You think Gucci going to come buy something from you? You think any of these other companies going to come buy from you? Huh? I support black businesses all the time. I don't care how much it costs. I don't care how much it costs because I know we need it. And every time I spend my money with a black-owned company, it gives them just that much hope to keep it moving. 
So imagine if we all vibrated like that. As a black culture, we would be strong. Fuck all that black people this and black people that. Dog, y'all go to other restaurants. Shit be fucked up. Y'all don't say nothing. As soon as a black person have a restaurant, if a little smudge on the spoon, oh, oh black this and that. Man, that shit is that shit is a program. You program to think like that. We got to start tearing each other down, bro. But this is why a lot of these big ass, not these big celebrities and shit, that's why they don't come out, stick their neck out for us, because we chop them down. And you must understand this before I go. No matter what you think about a, a black celebrity, if any of them step out on their platforms with the influence that they have to speak on any situation that we have in the black community, it's a plus. You know why? Because the motherfuckers we going up against attack you every fucking day from every fucking angle. They attack you with food, education, media, the radio, music, fashion. And when one celebrity step out and say something, we got to chop them down. That shit ain't right. We can't afford to do that. I don't give a damn what they did in their past or what they do in their own time. If they got that influence and they pop out and speak on our situations, we need this. We need to salute that and start tearing each other down. But to answer that question, this is why they don't stick their neck out for us. And I know a lot of people going to have mixed feelings, but it's just the facts. Would you do it? If you're making a decent living, you got everything going on for your family, don't nobody owe these people shit. Them people got off their ass and got what they had to do, did what they had to do, whatever you was doing what you was doing. For whatever reason, they where they at. Would you do it? Would you stick your neck out for the black community and risk it all and they chew your ass up? Hmm? Because you got to understand, <laughs> social media itself will, will put these, um, social media itself will put out memes. A lot of these memes ain't created by people. Social media create this shit. They stir up problems. They turn this group against that group. They put these memes out. They control the numbers. They know who like what and what they don't like. Like, you got to understand what we up against. So anytime somebody black or of high stature, now we got to be black. Anybody that speaks up for us, we need to salute them. I don't care if they have orgies and doing this and that on their off times. We cannot afford to keep tearing each other down. So hopefully this message meets somebody. Please support a black company. Don't care what it is. I don't even damn if you don't eat it or if you don't wear it or you don't. We got to start supporting black owned companies with each other. That's law. Boy, Papa Doug. Peace.